Would you spare a little bit for lonely Lovable, lovable I'm so happy just to be around you I was mighty lucky that I found you free I call you lovable That's the name that fits you like a glove Beautiful, wonderful The Lord Why, Maisie, your beans is cold Oh, Lloyd, I've told you a hundred times, when a gentleman takes me to luncheon, it won't be Tommy and Tommy's. That's food for thought, Romeo. Ah, uh, but when you're at Tommy's, it looks like the rich to me. And it don't smell like it. <laughs> we'll go and have a nice Chinese chop suey dinner tonight, and then we'll go to the movies. Best offer I've had today. At least that's better than Tommy and Tommy's. Ah, <laughs> uh, but when you're in love, it makes no difference where you eat. So that's why you've been eating at my house for the last two years. No, 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 no. It's because I like you. And your mother likes me, too. Why don't you marry mother? She's a widow. Then that would make me your stepfather. Then you'd be one stepfather. Get it? No, no. Pardon me. Do you mind showing me how this goes? Surely. I don't know where. Wonderful dreams, wonderful schemes from nowhere Made every hour sweet as a flower to me If you should go back to your nowhere Leaving me with sweet memories I'll always wait for your return from out of nowhere Hoping you bring your love I was just trying to help her sell some music, that was all. Back to that toy department, or there'll be a new Santa Claus here this Christmas. Here am I, oh so blue, and it's all because of you. Then stupid Cupid hit me with his guard. Though I smile when we met. May I look at some muffs, please? Oh, yes. Here is something new. I think the stable is much more effective on you than the chinchilla, madam. Could you have the alterations made by uh, Tuesday? Oh, certainly. That's fine. I'm sailing on the Ile de France. Uh, I'll have my secretary phone you about that chinchilla. 
that a coincidence? I was just talking about a trip. Oh, Mr. Sims, please. Shall I charge it, madam? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to. I haven't even enough money for luncheon. I'll have to get a check cashed. Oh, please, uh, if I'm not presuming too much, uh, would you lunch with me? Why, uh, delighted. But uh, I haven't had the pleasure. But allow me to introduce myself. I'm Wendy Windermere of Windermere House, Windermere, Long Island. Uh, oh, that's different. Uh, I didn't uh, catch your name. I didn't give it to you. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I would like to have it. Well, I am uh, Lady Guinevere Axminster. This is indeed a great pleasure. Uh, where do you generally lunch? Uh, Tomaint, oh, uh, well, to me, the Ritz is always lovely, and I'm possibly furnished. Very well. Uh, shall we hi-ho? Pip-pip, let's skip the gutter. Don't be like that, Lloyd. I'm not going to any chop suey joint when I'm invited to the Windermere's on Long Island. Not the, uh, not the Windy Windermere's? Yeah, the Windy Windermere's. They're giving a swell blowout. All right, but don't get caught in a draft. Yes. You promised to go in the pool with us, and we've been waiting for you. Come on, get your suit on. Oh, but I can't very well right now. I have some more guests to receive. Gee, I'm so nervous. Not maybe. I'm Lady Axminster, and you're Madame Dubonnet. Not Madame, Countess Dubonnet. I'm looking for a millionaire, too. Okay, but don't cheer along me. Lay off Wendy. The joint will be full of millionaires. Well, leave it to me. I'll get one. <laughs> Biffy doorbell. Oh, why don't we tell him we're from? Oh, just tell him you've been abroad. I've never been outside the city except on the night with Albany. Hello, Lady Axminster and Countess Dubonnet. Believe it or not. What are you doing here? Well, I'm at Fort Flushing. Listen, this is my one big chance. And if you crab it, I'll... Me? You'll probably crab it yourself. You win. It certainly follows you around. Follows me? He's always very ahead of me. Gee, what a swell little dump. Shh, remember your account. Don't call this joint a dump. Ah, oh, Lady Axminister. This is indeed a great honor. And you've brought a charming friend along. Yes. This is I a... am Countess Dubonnet. And you are Wendy Windermere. I have seen you play polo so many times. Oh, uh, I knock a goal occasionally. You knocked me for one the first time I saw you. I'll give you just one hour to let go of my hand. And I'll give you just two seconds. Interesting gathering. Oh, yes, uh, the elite of Long Island. Oh, I'll take that. Pardon me, Lady Brussels? Axminster. Oh, yes. Uh, do you care for an ice? What flavor? It's raspberry. No. Would you ladies care to dance? Later. How about a swim? It's only Thursday. Well, perhaps you would uh, join me in a little billiards. I never drink anything stronger than ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she claim? Well, I don't. Uh, just a minute, Lindy. Uh, but must you have all the women? Lady Axminster, may I present Baron Vandalitz? Ah, How do you the introduction. Do? We go in for the dance. <laughs> well, uh, why do you dance so far away? Are you afraid of having your fingers bumped? Yes, I just had the body washed and polished. <laughs> Is uh, that young lady a friend of yours? She was, until tonight. Really, I shouldn't be dancing with this weak ankle of mine. Oh, I make it easier for you. Oh! Oh, I 
have been in Europe, finishing my musical education. Vocal or piano? Both. My man, piano. I want you to play for me. Ah, oh, there you are. <coughs> Sir, shall I bring you a piccolo? No, I'm not in the mood for piccoloing. Ah, oh, but you should be. It's such a lovely mood. <sighs> My heart is flame, a fire that only you can tame. Mm, what can it be that's doing this to me? Mm, this mystery has brought a certain bliss to me. Wondrous something deep within me that I never felt before. I don't know why, but yet it seems I cry for more and more. I should go slow, but yet somehow I can't say no. What can it be? Oh, that's splendid. <laughs> Do you believe in love at first sight? I was hoping you'd think of that, too. Oh, the moon is beautiful, sir. I said the moon was beautiful, sir. Yes. Uh, serve the champagne out on the terrace, please. Here, eh? We is me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's step into the ante room. Never mind your ante. I'm doing all right. Here, <laughs> wait. <on>. Brace yourself. <laughs> oh! oh, I'm so sorry. My Vicky. Crossing chisel, little gold digger. Why, Lady Axe Minister. Oh, be yourself. I'm going to warn him against the little four-flusher. Sick him, Maisie. Sick him, Maisie. Sick him. Hello? Yes? 
Yes, this is Windermere House. Gustav, this is Marie. Mr. and Mrs. Windermere have just got off the boat. Criminal! We didn't expect them for another week. What is it? The master's coming back. The master's coming back. The master's coming back. Now, what do you think? I think we should be. You sit down, darling, and I'll uh, order some champagne. <laughs> don't be long, sweetheart. Come on, come on, Let's go. Go. 